Hi guys, it's Chris at Sweet Seasons Art. I wanted to show you today um, the new Prima Liquid watercolors that I got. I have some here on my plate, and they are Taxi, that deep yellow, Sea Green, which is this brighter green, Tree, which is this nice deep dark green, which I really like, and Wood, which is a sort of neutral brown tone. It's not too warm and not too cool. I like it. So I've already been practicing a little bit to see how these work and to test them out. And I've made three little trees and you can see they're a little bit different because each one is a little bit um, done with a little bit more saturation than the last. So maybe we'll do this one real saturated. Get a little taxi color on your brush. We'll start with the real loose, loose yellows here and just a real loose tree shape. I don't want to fill it in too much. I don't want it to be too structured. And I want to leave some white space, which we'll, you know, address as we go. All right, so I think that's enough. I'm gonna go in for a little bit of the sea green next, but I'm gonna mix it with some of the taxi. I want it to be a little bit of a blend. It's a really bright green on its own. And I'm gonna dab it into the wet areas so that it blends a little bit. But not too much. I don't wanna mix them on the page. I wanna leave it a little loose. Right. So the last color is appropriately called tree. It's this really deep, deep green, which you can see especially in these two, and I really like it. I'll add this underneath a lot of these other areas, and that's to add a little shading. This is obviously a very ab abstract tree. It's not really structured um, or, or terribly realistic, but I like to use it down here in some of the dry areas um, to act as the shadows where maybe the sun wouldn't reach. And I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of our yellows for some highlights. And I know it looks a little crazy right now. Take a little water, do a little blending, shaping, and you'll get something that, that you like. And remember to leave some, some white space because trees have you know spaces in between the branches and the leaves. All right. All right, so let's let that bleed around a little bit. Um, and let's do our trunk. All right. Get a little, sorry. I'm not happy with the way the top of this tree looks, and I'm gonna play with it a little. Because I like it to look, yeah, that's better. Okay. All right, let's let that dry. A little bit and blend and then I'll use my this is a size six round I'd normally use maybe a two or a four I'm close to the edge of the page here so I'm gonna have a hard time getting my whole trunk in but that went a little sideways on me we'll just kind of take it down we'll touch it here this tree obviously has some branches coming off going into the leaves and then I'll darken maybe one side of the trunk give it a little depth maybe put some water on the other side and we'll take it all the way down here like this it comes out with the roots at the bottom so see he's kind of fun and quirky um, and you can mess around with the shapes and add in color. This is all still very wet, so we can go back in if we wanted to and darken up some of these areas or drop some more yellows in there. Um, but that's basically how your finished product will look. So I hope that's fun, and I will try to do some more tutorials with the um, liquid colors. I'm excited to explore all the different ones that um, Prima has.